Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and I wanted to talk to you about Chapter 10 of my book. This book is titled, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. Chapter 10 is called Setting the Stage. What do I mean by setting the stage? Well, when you're selling, you've got to be proactive, not reactive. So often, salespeople are taught a sales process, and they believe that's the holy grail of sales. If sales process is all you needed to be successful, every single salesperson would be wildly successful. It's not just the steps of the sale, it's what the customer is thinking and feeling during that sale and how you enable them and help them to solve their problems by thinking and feeling and getting into those emotions that provides enough leverage where somebody says yes I'll do business with you and buy your product or service today that comes through setting the stage let me give you some examples of this if you're selling automobiles what do you do in relation to the trade-in that's one of the biggest objections you'll ever find is a trade-in people object to the amount of money that the dealership is giving them for the valuation of their trade but yet most salespeople wait till the very end of the process to address that trade-in. They wait till the very end and then they get an appraisal, share the value, and the customer's upset. You see that trade-in is a pattern. It shows you what, the, some, what somebody has done before in their past, how they've made decisions, how they bought something, uh, how they thought, how they felt. Why not utilize that first? So what I try to do in setting a stage to a sale is to take anything that will provide and set an environment. You're the salesperson. You create the environment. In an automotive situation, I would definitely utilize the trade-in. If you're selling houses, what are you doing that sets the stage that proactively addresses any potential problems that usually come up? I have a little phrase that you can't sweep uh, crap underneath the rug and expect the stink to go away. You cannot avoid any vague things. You cannot think that, think that things won't come up. If you deal with 10 customers, you know 8, 9 times out of 10 that those things that come up that are stumbling blocks come up over and over and over 8 or 9 times out of 10. Are you just hoping to find the customer that's going to be the 1 or 2 out of 10? If you know it happens the majority of the time, write down what it is that comes up that is a stumbling block that impedes your process and think proactively what can I do in setting the stage to eliminate that that's why I talk about being able to utilize the word save time save money if I'm at a trade-in or during the sales process I impart to the customer consistently through my presentation demonstration I'm gonna save them time and save them money I'm also gonna look at uh, a couple of different things in the process as far as their patterns of how they've done business and what makes them comfortable in the law of familiarity but then I'm going to look at something separate called the contrast if I know how to repeat steps of how you bought something in the past to make you feel comfortable then all I have to do is to provide the contrast the contrast to what you have now and what you're going to get the contrast to your pain to moving you towards pleasure all of these things come through setting the environment or what I call setting the stage. I want you to take a moment before you grab another customer, whatever it is that you sell, whether it's a car, a house, equipment, it doesn't matter what it is, computers, I want you to think of what usually happens during that sales process. Remember this, you're not a sales process, you're a salesperson. You're the one delivering the sales process but you got to be a person. People buy from people. They don't buy a process. The process enables you to get the customer to feel enough leverage to take action to do business with you. So I invite you to take a look at my book. If you go to tour.com, T-E-W-A-R-T.com or marktour.com, you'll see a link for this book to Amazon. And you can also get the first chapter for free at that website at tour.com or marktour.com or feel free to call us anytime you wish at 888-2-TOUR. Once again, I'm Mark Tuart and the book is How to Be a Sales Superstar. Break all the rules and succeed while doing it.